Hey there, it's Stephanie, and today I'm going to show you how to vectorize a signature. So I went online and I found this JPEG, somebody else's signature. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it into Inkscape. I'm going to click File, Import. Um, this, is, this happens to be the file. I'm going to open it. OK. So here you can see we definitely don't want a signature that appears that it has a background. It's this off-white color. Um, we're going to get rid of that. And how we're going to do that is by tracing the signature. You can do this by using the Path tool. You're going to go right in the Path menu. And you're going to select Trace Bitmap. Now, there's all different options. and Honestly, I could, I could go through all of these and explain what they do, but the best thing I've found is just play around and see what you get when you click each of these options, what looks best to you. What I've gone and done, uh, usually when you open this window, Live Preview hasn't been selected. Make sure that's selected so that when you're playing around with these different options, you can kind of see and get an idea of how the signature is going to turn out. I've also reduced the number of scans. The signature is pretty simple. I don't need any colors traced or anything like that. I just want a pretty simple outline of the signature. So I've reduced the number of scans to two, colors to two, that's the lowest it can go. And right now, I think what I have, seems that grays is the best selection. I've tried edge detection, which is usually a good option, but if you notice, because it's a thick signature, it, ha it actually outlined it, and you can see there's white space in between, and we really don't want that. So I'm going to go back to the grays. I'm going to select OK. And now let me move this menu around just so we can see what we're doing here. So as you can see, it doesn't look like anything's happened, but if we click somewhere else other than the image, and then we click back and drag down, you can see this is the original, and this is the new traced signature. And we can see this is a vector, because if we click this tool here, we can see all these different kinds of points that were created. This is great. We can create an SVG or a PNG with this. And um, I guess the easiest way to add this to documents, um, PNG is probably the best. If you'd like to use this, you know, if you'd like to have vector graphics with this, SVG is the way to go. But for today's example, I'm going to keep it to PNG. We're going to come over here. We're going to export as. Make sure it's in the desktop for me so I know where to find this file. And I'm going to name it Signature. I'm going to click Save. And make sure not to miss this step because I've forgotten this step before and it was like, where's my PNG? You have to click export. And there you go. As you can see, it's created a PNG right on the desktop. Let's check it out. And there's your signature. No background. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Have a wonderful day.